Hi, my name is Helena Sheehan and I am vodcasting here for Biolog.ie and the vodcast that I'm going to do today is on mitosis. So mitosis is a form of cell division. There are two forms of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis, so let's write it down here, it's a form of cell division. And during mitosis, or when a cell divides by mitosis, it divides into two. Into two new cells, or we can call them daughter cells. But the most important thing about mitosis is that the new cells are genetically identical to the original cell. They have the same number of chromosomes. And that's very important. They are genetically identical. They have the same number of chromosomes as the original cell. And often we remember that mitosis produces two new cells. And we get a bit confused then as to whether mitosis is the one that produces the genetically identical cells or not. It is. Mitosis produces cells that have the same number of chromosomes as the original cell. So if we take a look here at a human cell, and the diploid number of a human cell is 46. There are 46 chromosomes, so 2n equals 46. So almost all cells in the human body have 46 chromosomes. Let's have a look over here, actually, at what happens when we are produced. So we start off with a sperm cell, which has 23 chromosomes, and an egg cell, which also has 23 chromosomes, so n equals 23. That means the haploid number is 23. And it's essential that egg and sperm cells have half the usual number of chromosomes, so that when they combine, we get a zygote, which has 46 chromosomes, so 2n equals 46, the diploid number. Di means 2 diploid number is 46. So here's a zygote. We all start off life as this one zygote. The zygote needs to grow, or the organism needs to grow, and how the organism grows is by this zygote, this one cell dividing. So the zygote divides into two cells. Each of those divide into four. Well, each of those divide into two, and we, we end up with four cells. So how does this zygote continue to divide mitosis. The cells divide by mitosis and they keep dividing mitosis until there are enough cells to form the human body, the entire organism. But what's important here is that every time the cells divide by mitosis they produce identical copies of themselves. The new cells are genetically identical. They have the same number of chromosomes as the original cell. They all have 46 chromosomes. And these are called somatic cells. Somatic cells are body cells. In other words, all of the cells apart from the gametes. These ones up here are gametes. They are sex cells, the sperm and the egg cells. So somatic cells in humans, and it varies from organism to organism how many chromosomes there are, but in humans there are 46 chromosomes in somatic cells. And every time those cells divide in order to grow by mitosis, they produce identical copies of themselves, and that's very important to remember. So back to mitosis. We have a human cell here with 46 chromosomes in it. It divides by mitosis and we get two cells. So mitosis produces two daughter cells which are genetically identical, i.e. they have the same number of chromosomes as the original cell. We need to know some functions of mitosis or the roles of mitosis.
first of all, in a single-celled organism. A single-celled organism is, a, is an organism with one cell. So an organism is a living thing. It's a living thing with one cell. For example, bacteria. Bacteria have one cell. Let's draw a bacterial cell over here. And when a bacterial cell divides by mitosis, so mitosis means that it divides into two, so this is a bacterial cell, single-celled organism. So mitosis means it divides into two, and the new cells are identical to the original cell. Therefore, the role here is asexual reproduction. This is not the bacterial cell growing. This is the bacterial cell reproducing. So when mitosis occurs in a single-celled organism, we call it asexual reproduction. Now, if you put A in front of a word, it means not. So it's not sexual. There is only one organism involved, and here we have two organisms, so that's reproduction. The role of mitosis in a multicellular organism, multicellular means there are many cells in the organism, so for example humans. When our cells divide by mitosis, they produce two new cells, and we'll just go back to the diagram up here because it explains it exactly. When our cells divide by mitosis, we call it growth. This is an organism growing, and when we start at the zygote, we all started out life as one cell, the zygote. That grew, it divided by mitosis, they divided by mitosis, and continue to divide by, to divide by mitosis until we get the full organism with billions of cells. So when a multicellular organism divides by mitosis, we call it growth. Growth. And repair is another one. So if you have cells in your body that are damaged, they can divide by mitosis and produce new cells. So growth and repair are the roles of mitosis in a multicellular organism. And that is it. That is mitosis. And the next podcast I will do is another short one on meiosis, the other form of cell division.